Yarbo Fix Tools is a software that allows us to connect our Yarbo to various networks such as 4G and Wi-Fi. It also provides features like checking firmware status, upgrading firmware, and switching between different network channels. Here are the preparatory steps that need to be followed. The first step is to download and install the latest version of Yarbo tool on our laptop through the following steps. Go to Yarbo's official website, www.yarbo.com. Go to the support center. Click on the knowledge base. Go to Yarbo tool section. Click on how to fix the internet connection with Yarbo tool. Here are the instructions for the Yarbo fix tools. Scroll down to the bottom of the instructions. In the attachment section, we can find two packages. Please ensure that we download the appropriate package based on our laptop type. Before using this application, please ensure Yarbo power is turned on. Your laptop is connected to the Yarbo rover Wi-Fi before configuring Yarbo. The second step is to connect our laptop Wi-Fi to the Yarbo rover's hotspot. The default hotspot name should be shown as Yarbo underscore rover underscore XXXX. And remember to input the password 8765 for the initial connection. Please click on Connect Yarbo and make sure the serial number shown on the webpage matches with the serial number on the Yarbo rover unit. Click the Refresh button. Please review the resource usage statistics shown. For network connection issues, here are the three situations that we need to use the Yarbo fix tools. If the Yarbo app cannot connect to the rover via the hotspot connection, we need to use the Wi-Fi connection function. If the Wi-Fi connection fails, we need to use the 4G connection function. Go to Wi-Fi connection in the left menu. Click the drop-down and select the desired Wi-Fi. If the Wi-Fi network you want to connect to is not shown, please enter the Wi-Fi network name and enter the correct Wi-Fi password. Then, click connect. Once connected, click the Get Wi-Fi Status button and check if the Wi-Fi is connected correctly. If the Wi-Fi connection fails, we need to use the 4G connection function. For cellular data, go the 4G connection in the left menu. Click the Open 4G button to enable the 4G connection. Then click the Check button and review the status. If we cannot find or connect to the Yarbo hotspot on our phone, we need to switch to the Wi-Fi channel and Wi-Fi connection functions. Select Wi-Fi channel from the left menu. Click the switch channel button to switch to Wi-Fi channel. Click the check button under Wi-Fi channel, ensure the Wi-Fi channel is successfully switched. Go to Wi-Fi connection in the left menu, click the drop-down and select the desired Wi-Fi. If the Wi-Fi network you want to connect to is not shown, please enter the Wi-Fi network name and enter the correct Wi-Fi password. Then, click connect. 
Once connected, click the Get Wi-Fi Status button and check if the Wi-Fi is connected correctly. If we cannot connect to the rover through the app, but we need to check the firmware update progress, we need to use the firmware update function. Go to firmware update in the left menu. Look at the fetch status and verify the percentage completed is over 90%. If fetch shows over 90% complete, it indicates the rover is already on the latest firmware version. Please patiently wait for Yarbo to announce ready to work. For troubleshooting issues, there are two situations where we need to use the Yarbo fix tools. If the rover is stuck displaying colorful lights and will not reboot, we need to use the deep clean function. Click deep clean and confirm by clicking OK when prompted. This will clear cached files and data. If remote debugging is needed while the customer has no internet connection, we need to use the Wi-Fi connection function. If the Wi-Fi connection fails, we need to use the 4G connection function. Go to Wi-Fi connection in the left menu. Click the drop-down and select the desired Wi-Fi. If the Wi-Fi network you want to connect to is not shown, please enter the Wi-Fi network name and enter the correct Wi-Fi password. Then, click Connect. Once connected, click the Get Wi-Fi Status button and check if the Wi-Fi is connected correctly. If the Wi-Fi connection fails, we need to use the 4G connection function. For cellular data, go the 4G connection in the left menu. Click the Open 4G button to enable the 4G connection. Then click the Check button and review the status. If Yarbo runs out of usage, we need to use the Deep Clean function. Click Deep Clean and confirm by clicking OK when prompted. This will clear cached files and data. For version checking situations, if we want to check if the rover is on the latest firmware version, we will use the firmware update function to verify if the fetch percentage has completed. Go to firmware update in the left menu. Look at the fetch status and verify the percentage completed is over 90%. If fetch shows over 90% complete, it indicates the rover is already on the latest firmware version.